all right then so now we are in the second phase of development of our watchdog program so in this phase we will be looking at how we can move the file from one location to the other so now we have implemented the on created and on deleted methods and for now these two only have print statements in them but now we have got to move the file when it has been created for that we will be using a package in python called shutil and this package helps us to do operations on files either deleting files or creating files or moving them and stuff like that so this module helps us do that and we will be using this to move the text file to another location on our computer when it is put into the desktop so in the on created method we will be writing shutil.move and this takes two arguments the move method of shutil the first one is source and the second one is the destination so the src that is the source path refers to the path where the file was created and that is this path right here all you've got to do is copy this and paste it in the place of src and the destination path is the path where we want to put the new file which has been created so that would be in a folder in the desktop so let me call the folder text underscore documents and copy this so that we can keep that folder ready in order to test our program so create a folder so there it is this is our folder which will have all the text files which are created on the desktop and the desktop will be empty and clean so now let's run this and check it out so the watchdog is running and let me create a new text file here so it's gone and where has it gone it's gone here so you see file was created at this location and it was deleted as soon as it was created it got deleted and went here there it is so that's how our program will work and now it works only for text files but you can extend it to images and whatnot all you've got to do is include other patterns over here so you can include dot png dot jpg and stuff anything you want really and now we'll have to account for the flexibility here so if the path ends with dot txt then we'll put it into text documents or else if it ends with dot png or jpg we will put it into another folder so we have a built-in method in python for that so if event dot src path dot ends with dot txt so this checks if the path the string ends with dot txt and if it does we are going to move it and let me copy this lf and if the string ends with dot png or if it ends with dot jpg then we have got to move it to another folder called image docs or something like that and we'll have to create it beforehand so so there it is we have our two folders and let's check this out so let me create a new text document first so it's gone it went here and let's put mario in the desktop and he's gone where is he gone he's gone to image docs so that's that pretty neat isn't it a really easy program and 
helps you keep your desktop clean from all the trash that you download and yep i hope you got a basic idea of how this works and i hope you will write your own program and design your own watchdog so that's it bye for now guys and i'll see you guys in the next video